Two weeks ago, I discovered a technique called the RJP technique. It helped me save more than 60 hours of time in just 10 minutes. Let me share with you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you are following me, but I always develop online tools, marketing and AI tools like Promoter Kit, Free Eye Kit, and much, much more. So two months ago, I decided to publish and create an SEO analyzer tool. Something like this one, you input a URL and you get an SEO report, detailed report. So I started developing it and it took me more than two months working every day, like one hour. So in total, like 60 hours to finish the back end of this tool. But two weeks ago, when I discovered the RJP technique, exactly the same work took me only 10 minutes to finish. Something really like magic. Let me share with you the RJP technique and how you can use it to cut down and save a lot of hours in just a few minutes. So this is my new tool, the AI powered SEO analyzer that I finished just a few days ago. You just give it a URL with a keyword and click on submit. And now this tool will generate a full detailed SEO report with AI analysis. You can see there's a score and there's the AI analysis with suggestions and there's the detailed score with domain, metrics, and info and so on. So the idea is to develop such a tool. As I told you, it took me before like 60 hours of work. But with a new technique, the RJP technique, I finished this tool in minutes, the back end of this tool in minutes. Let me go backwards and reverse engineer this tool and share with you how I did that and how you can do the same. So what I did is I went to a website called rapidapi.com. If you don't know Rapid API, it's like a marketplace where you can buy and sell APIs. So I searched here for an API for SEO audits or reports, and I found multiple SEO report APIs. I don't want now to show the exact API. Maybe the author don't like that. I will apply this on one of my APIs. So you can see here, this is an API, for example, Website SEO Analyzer Tool, or API, sorry. And if you go and test this API, you can see here, you will get a detailed SEO report for any URL. What I did simply is I copied this JSON output. So here we have an API generating a full SEO report in JSON format. You can see here, all the data is here. I want to create something similar. I want to create a tool to generate this full report. So I copied this JSON and I went to ChatGPT. Look at this technique, the RJP technique. It stands for reverse JSON prompt. So we are reverse engineering a JSON to get the code behind. I simply told ChatGPT that I want to build an SEO audit tool. I will give you the JSON output and I want you to reverse engineer and write the function that he takes a URL as an input and generates the JSON as output. Ready? It said, yes. I pasted the JSON here. You can see it, the JSON here, the full response. And then ChatGPT started creating the full script. But in the first round, it wrote half of it and simply said link section, image sections, and so on. So I forced it to write the full function and don't miss any part. And then it wrote the full detailed function that generates exactly what I want. I just copied it like this and I had the full back end of my API. As I mentioned two months ago, I started generating functions for each of these values and it took me hours and hours of work. With this method, the RJP, the reverse JSON prompt, you can build functions in seconds. So what we can do right now, if you want to build, for example, a tool in specific niche, just go here and search for it. For example, let's say marketing, anything, just say enter, and you'll get a lot of APIs. You just open one of these APIs and then test it, get the JSON response, copy it, and then paste inside ChatGPT with this Reverse JSON prompt and we will get the function. Now you have to know something in some cases, like for example, this case, we are doing here email validation. Maybe the API is using external data or external service. In these specific scenarios, you may not get the full in-depth code, but you'll get the general function with an example of what external service to use. 
So ChatGPT will write the full code again, but maybe it will use something external. You just need to try it in your case, see what's your application about, see if there's an API on Rapid API or somewhere else. Maybe you can go to other websites, API layer. Again, you can test any API here, get the JSON response and try to reverse it with ChatGPT to get the function behind. Believe me, this will save you a lot of time. Even if it's based on data or something, you will get the full structure, the full optimized code with ChatGPT in seconds, and you need to change a little to get the exact data you want and so on. So this is what I did. I reverse engineer the SEO audit tool and I developed my own SEO analyzer. By the way, it's free. You can go and check it and test it if you want. I also appreciate your feedback. If you test it and you find some bugs or something, just click on feedback and send it back to me. I'll be very happy to listen to your feedbacks and improve my free AI powered tools on my website. And don't forget, if you need help, I'll be here almost every day to answer your questions. Just go now, learnwithhassan.com slash forums and join us. I'll be more than happy to talk with you. You will find all details, prompts used, everything in this video in the description below. And if you are interested in learning more about prompt engineering and mastering this skill, you can check out my full mastery course in the description below. Happy prompting and see you soon.